Hi and welcome to the Textbox 2 version 1.1 update. We've got some new features here which people have been asking about since Textbox was just a twinkle in my eye. And the first one is, if we have some typewriter style text, it's annoying because different size characters can then create this very ugly jolt. So how can we fix that? Well, now we have an ascenders descenders option here. And how this works is you go to the point in time where the height is correct, and then you hit update vertices and then you can enable this feature and now the text height will remain perfect. It doesn't matter if you move it, rotate it, whatever, it's gonna be correct. The next feature that we have is an improvement on a previous feature, it is individual rounding. And before these were just four checkboxes, but now they are four sliders. So now you can fine tune the roundness for each corner. So that's helpful for if you're animating this roundness slider, these are based off that. And let's go into the border tab and we have trim paths now. So if we enable the border, I'll just make it a bit bigger and then offset it a little bit. We now have trim paths. So this works as you would probably expect it to. We've, we've got a start percentage, an end percentage and an offset. The way I like to do it is get the start and end, put them to 50-50 and then it go forwards in time and make them 0, 100. And then if we go to the first frame where we have some trimming going on, we can then change this offset value so that this is in the dead center where we want it to be. And then if we apply some easing to our keyframes, we'll get this nice animation going here. So that's trim paths. I'm going to disable that for now. The next feature that we have is a new cap style. And this is particularly helpful if you have, say, a really thick stroke. And if we turn on dashes here, we can see that if we animate the offset, we're getting some very strange results here. And that's because the roundness is set to zero, which but doesn't really perform well. So if we turn that to square, uh, and we just need to modify these values because by the nature of square, they're much larger. Now we can see we're getting much better edge behavior with square. The downside with square is it doesn't really play well with round borders. So if we had say 10% roundness, then that looks weird. Then you'd either want butt caps or round caps for that. So the rule of thumb is if you have no roundness, use square. But if you have roundness, use butt or round, and then you should be good. So those are all the new features in version 1.1 of Textbox 2. All of these ideas were user submitted. So thanks for submitting your ideas, and please let me know if you have any other ideas for a future build.